It seems to me that Mr. Mrs. Woody Woodpecker created a nest on top of my light pole that I had to pay $3,000 for the whole setup. And she's bringing little booties to her babies up there. I see you, Mama. I always was wondering what she was doing up there. That hole must be really big for her to lay her at nest and eggs there. She just bought wormies there. And now she's over there to her other nest on the tree. I don't know what this birdie's doing. Ah, uh, well, I'll just start a little video out here. We do happen to work a lot at nighttime. That looks like the brown birdie. Hey, birdie, your babies are over there on my hitch. These, I found out the birds are like these, they're called cowbirds. I never heard of cowbirds, but anyway. <coughs> these are these blue exotic birds that be on my land. They normally are brown when they're born, and then they turn blue for eating blueberries and berries and all kinds of stuff. But we were out here early, late last night. I got to this major area, this area that we did last night. I did pretty well. The only problem is it's hard to see out here at night, even though we have headlights on and cell phone lights. We still have to come out and cut around this bamboo, around the bamboo with the weed whacker, not the bush hogger, the actually weed whacker, and get in here, cut this down, cut this, these oak trees down. I don't want these trees on here because this is all going to be bamboo eventually. Bamboo will run all the way out to the tree line. They're pretty good. Even cut out here. My garden. I don't have time for it. I'm not here to impress anybody. But I just like, you know, to have street appeal. And I don't like it looking so rough in the front of the house. Like, the front entrance of this property. But it looks way better. I just finished sweeping down the shed. Got to get in these little patches here. Where the bamboo is, like I said, you don't want to run the bush hogger in there because you'll break down your money trees. And I don't want to break down money trees. I don't want to lose no trees. It takes five years for the tree just to get to the harvesting stage. But yeah, cleaned it all out, all down there. Wherever you see is tall, they has to go in with a personal weed whacker. Just cut around them. Morning, birdie. Morning, birdie. Birdie bird. Bye, birdie. Oh, hush it. Done all in here. This area is kind of rough. This is the area where the brisenberry bush slung and hit my husband in his eyeball. And he basically gave up on this area. And it's like, he's worked so hard on the whole entire property, but this one particular area, he did not, he doesn't want, he didn't do, he didn't do correctly. He gave up on it, like I said. My mom was coming in today. She hasn't been out here in over a year and a half, the last time she was here. I physically haven't seen her in a whole year. Coming out, we are improvements. Pick up my boy and take him back to Florida for a little while. For three weeks. He get a three week vacation out of Georgia. Happy for him. Somebody gets to leave. <laughs> pick up Pine Land. I don't know how long it's going to take Pine Land to come out here and do their job. I mean, for crying out loud, you is the cable company. And I don't want to hear because of COVID-19, the factories ain't open. Everybody wants to use that as an excuse. It's time to get back to work. If you open up the government for everybody else, why isn't the government open? No, you want to send the peoples back into the firing squad before you open any government facilities. It's crazy, but this is the way America works nowadays. So you got both sides open, street appeal. 
the only thing is down there on the second property, we let the town take care of it. And in here, we take care of it. Only because I can't wait for the town to come through and decide to take care of it. There's a lot of crap in the streets from overnight. I mean, stuff like this. Like, who throws? They just throw their trash all over and then leave it for the next person to come out and pick up after them. I don't like that. We're going to figure out what's going on with these birdies. I don't think they're going to survive. I was hoping by now... My husband would have been up because it's almost 9 o'clock and he's telling me he's going to come out at 5 in the morning. Man, you haven't even got out of bed yet. Before you know it, my mother will be here and there's what else can you possibly do? I wanted it to be done before she got here, but it is what it is. Time now to go feed the pigs, get them ready for the day. Come, Blue. Get the pigs ready for the day. Have him come back out here and chop down the rest of this crap that's been left open. I mean, that's why I told him to start in the front and work himself back. Because it would have looked better. But no, he, know, he knows everything. I and mean, that irritates me. Because I like street appeal. I'm very particular on how I like things done. And he could care less. Because he's a man. And that's what men do. They could care less on what the wife wants. Come around and please uh, somebody. Please me by doing what I ask you to do. But you can see we've been working. This thing doesn't look brand new no more. You can see we've really been working it out here. And uh, my sunflower is basically already dried out. I could harvest these seeds today. Pretty just done with. Yeah, I'll harvest those seeds today. And uh, hopefully we'll have a great day today. I don't know. We have to see what's going to take place for us, you know, for a bit. I'm trying to figure out where the mama bird went to. It's crazy how that woodpecker made that nest up on top of my electricity pole. <coughs> you know, these poles, they're, they're made out of uh, oak wood. They say oak wood is the strongest wood out there. All my flowers died. It's the only ones that are surviving so far. Like I said, we've been having a really, really hot summer. I have to ir still irrigate my banana tree soil so they can start growing a little bit bigger and better. And I hope the birdie mommy and the hitch will take care of those little birdies, but I doubt it. I, I just think the sun, either another bird got to them, which is more than likely. The sun, the rainstorm, knocking the tree branch over and it um, it was still the one that I put on was still there because I tied it up. But there was another tree branch that was loose, like it was cracked, I guess you want to say. And, um, that one was busted over with them hanging on <laughs> for dear life. I can't find the egg, the little rob, the egg, it was a little blue egg, can't find that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, well, hope everybody has a great day. I got to get cracking for my day. Ciao.